welcome to my channel. I'm Sri Reni, Creative Director of BBC Creations. Thank you for joining me today. So this video, we are going to cut out um, our pattern from our main fabric. So if you are not subscribed to this, to this channel, please make sure you subscribe. Give me a thumbs up and then drop your comment down below. So let's dive into the tutorial. So guys, the next thing I have to do is to start using my pin to hold my fabric, to hold my paper down. So you, you will see here that I left like um, half inch or so here and I left like one and a half inch here which will enable me to add my allowances at the allowances for joining. That is your seam allowances. So I'm going to start right now to call to to give uh, my seam allowances. added my all my seam allowances and the necessary allowances needed for this tutorial so I'm going to trim out the parts that I need so that this fabric will not be bulky for me when cutting out So as you can see, this is what I have. I have one which is in two places. Then I have my two which is in two places, which is in two places, as you can see. I also have my three which will be like this. I have my four which is also will be like this. Then I have my five, which will be like this because five, four and five is your side seam. Then I have my six, which is the last panel. So this is what I have. I'm going to cut out the interface. Then after cutting out the interface, the next thing is sewing and then finishing. So guys, I have cut out everything that I need for this tutorial. So this is my pattern, my main fabric that I'm using for this and the interface or you can also call it your lining. So this is the wording that I'm using, the interface and also the main fabric. So all these things I have cut it out. If you are cutting out your interface, make sure that what, out you, what you cut out on the main fabric is what you cut out on your lining make sure that the two measurements or the measurements are equal you can see that all these things are on, on equal line so the next thing for me is to iron i'm going to iron this before stitching it so guys i'm done with ironing you can see that this one i have already ironed it on the wadding so this is where i notched this is where i notched it will help me to face it well and to know the side that I will use to join it together. So guys, I'm going to start. I'm going to start pinning this. I'm going to start joining them together. So I'm going to join here first, then join these two.
so this is supposed to be the main fabric this is supposed to be on the main fabric then the lining is supposed to look like something like this so this side is supposed to be so let's go straight to the sewing method so i'm sure with um i'm sure we joining so the next thing for me is to start joining the interface together so this will go with this and then i will join the two side of the back together then we will see the final result so this stuff is going to look like the right side facing together when joining can you see so this stuff is going to be let me quickly rush and then join the whole thing together and show you guys the final result so guys this is the final result this is the wrong side as you all can see then this then this is the right this is the right side of the corset you all can see so i'm going to try to put it let me put this on and show you guys how it fits or how the whole stuff look or looks like on me so keep watching so guys this is how you can see the upper part is too open and too deep so that's it guys so this is your concept without any boning like it's only the wording that i used to achieve this.